it has been 15 days since I've been using and comparing these two continuous glucose monitors. New over-the-counter continuous glucose monitor by Dexcom called Stello and Freestyle Libre 3 by Abbott, which has been, has been around for a long time, though this one is the plus, it's their newest version that lasts 15 days. So my goal was to see if Stello can be reliable and accurate because it being over the counter, it makes it so much easier to buy uh, this continuous glucose monitor. Plus it's half the price of Freestyle Labor 3. So let's get into it and review the data from these two continuous glucose monitors. Okay, let's look at the data from two different websites. So one side here, this is Dexcom Clarity, uh, and on the other side, this is Libra View for the Freestyle Libra. Okay, so what I like already about Dexcom Clarity, so the, here we're in the daily log, so you can see like the day by day data on here. And so you already see that if I click on it, you can see at the bottom that's time, but it will also show you time right there. And you can see how blood glucose fluctuates. And I, I really do like this interactive graph. Um, LibreView doesn't have the same feature. Um, so you can see still the graph and then at the bottom you just see um, samples of blood glucose, the high on top and low at the bottom. Um, regardless, I just, so just sampling, for example, two days, the um, December 7th, let's look at the graph. The most important thing, and perhaps it will be kind of hard to see, but, but you can tell that the graph essentially looks the same and we'll compare the actual absolute numbers too. But the fluctuations in the graph is the most important thing, not the absolute numbers themselves, because you want to see uh, what is happening with your blood glucose throughout the day. Um, most importantly, how fast can your blood glucose come down uh, to your base level after a meal? Um, but let's look at like samples of different uh, data. So for example, we can look here at different highs. So this was at 2.10 um, p.m. and I spiked to 1.32. So here we'll need to figure out, so it will be around 2 and uh, it shows 1.37. Now, for example, at 215, yeah, it shows that it keep climbing here to 142. So it's 142 as the highest number here compared to 137 with Freestyle Libre. And that's essentially what you need to know. This is what I've noticed over 15 days, that for the most part, there was about difference by five points. And that is a very acceptable difference. Uh, very rare, rarely it would fluctuate by more than that. Um, I would say that uh, Freestyle Libre will tend to um, give me lower numbers when it comes to, um, you see this um, numbers marked in red. So this is kind of like marks hypoglycemia events, which means that your blood sugar went down too low. But what I suspect actually with Freestyle Libre, it being uh, created for people with uh, diabetes, it almost overshoots the number so that um, people can take action and consume something to bring their levels up. So it's kind of warning them in advance. And so I think that Freestyle Libre tends to 
overshoot the numbers uh, if your blood sugar, let's say, going down too fast. So um, that was the only difference that I've noticed. But as I said, for the most part, uh, the numbers were very close between the two continuous glucose monitors, which I wore on the same arm for 15 days. Okay, so let's look at another day. This was the holiday season, so a good example here with a few spikes of eating different foods. So let's look at here 10, 10 a.m. And it looks like 136 was the highest. Let's find 10 a.m. So it shows that it went to 144. Um, right there. Let's check. No. So the difference of between 5 and 10 points again of data here. Um, let's see right here at 5 p.m. at 128. 5 p.m. 138. Actually, a difference by 10 points about. A couple more things to note about Stello in comparison to Freestyle Libre. So um, when you're using Stello app, it will not show you when your blood sugar dips below 70. And so I think that's kind of an annoying feature about Stello app that they should fix. But there is a way around it. That's why I think that everybody that uses Stello should absolutely get their personal um, Dexcom Clarity account because on that account you will be able to see more data and you will be able to see when your blood sugar actually does go below 70. Uh, also, another thing is that in the app, you will not be able to see past results. So your data lasts only for 24 hours. Another feature of the app that I am not a fan of and another reason to create an account and use Dexcom Clarity again. So I think there are like a couple of features with the app itself um, that are not as good. Um, you can still uh, enter notes in the app such as like entering your meals or when you're exercising you know, let's say when you're stressed or sick or didn't get enough sleep so you can make different notes um, I know some people can get discour discouraged by doing that because your data disappears in the app it lasts only 24 hours but if you do use Dexcom Clarity everything will be there so you should still take notes and enter that information um, so that you can understand your data better. So those are just like a couple of things to note about Stello. Um, another thing is that, that is a positive thing I think, um, is that Stello will not uh, give you alarms uh, when your uh, blood glucose goes too low, when you're becoming hypoglycemic or when it goes too high, um, like above 180. I think that's when usually Dex, um, Freestyle Libre will give you an alarm, which I think is actually a good thing when you are not um, dealing with diabetes, when you're not requiring a medication to manage it. Uh, contrary, like I, when I, I was using Freestyle Libre, I found the alarms being annoying. In fact, like I learned very early that I need to even like either um, turn off my phone completely or leave it somewhere else in case um, I do have my blood sugar goes down at night and uh, the alarm goes off. It's definitely not a pleasant experience to be woken up in the middle of the night with the CGM alarm. So I think that's actually a good thing about uh, Stello. Um, yeah, so that kind of like summarizes the differences between Stello and Freestyle Libre.
To summarize my experience with Stello CGM, I am very happy with the results and uh, I do think that it's accurate and so I will be using it myself and I, I am already recommending it to my clients because it's so easy to purchase it, it's the price it, um, for two continuous glucose monitors is great. I do like uh, the Dexcom Clarity uh, website where you can view more data and I like their interactive graph over there compared to LibreView. Um, so overall great experience with Stello. If you wanted to try out a CGM um, I do recommend it. I think it's uh, it changes a lot of things that continuous glucose monitors are now can be accessed over the counter and I think it can be a life-changing tool for so many people because you can get so much insight into how different foods, even stress, lack of sleep can impact uh, your fluctuation and your tolerance of glu glucose and you can just tweak and make slight adjustments from this data in your day-to-day -day life to improve your health.